Okay, at the conclusion of this video clip, you will know how to create a Google site, how to add pages, and edit pages. So first off, um, get a new tab going in Chrome, and we're going to go to um, Apps, and I'm going to click Sites. And when you do that, you're going to see that I have already created um, a site, but you're going to go ahead and uh, click Create. And you're going to type the name of your site. Um, use your first name. You can use that for a name. And then we're going to do a blank template and create. And remember the whole purpose for the ePortfolio um, number one is uh, to give your website address to a possible potential employer or even a scholarship um, reviewer so that they can look and see what you can do. You're going to you're going to upload uh, pictures of your work and project files that you've done and in the process of doing that for this class you're also going to prepare for the final exam by um, uploading different um, documents that you've learned how to create so during the semester in apps 2 and apps 1. So here's your home page okay and on your home page um, we have one page here and it's home. Okay, to add a page, let's take a look here at what we have. Right here is edit. If I click that, it loads the editor and now I can actually put content on this page. And I might even want to put, uh, it, I wouldn't put a picture of myself. I wouldn't mention my age or anything like that or my address or anything, but here, um, you could put maybe a picture of the school. So I'm going to insert an image and I'm going to upload an image. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and put the Comet logo on there. And I'm going to click it, and I'm going to click OK. Hmm, it doesn't look like it loaded. I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a save, and we'll see what happens there. Ah, there it is. Okay, so you know, Google's can be kind of quirky sometimes. That really is a big picture. Um, I'm going to edit it and I'm going to click on the picture. And you can see when I click on it that I get extra options down here. Um, I am going to make it be, it's aligned at the left. I'm going to make it be aligned at the center. And then this is the original size. There's medium. And here's small. I'm just going to do small because it will eliminate scrolling. Um, and I'll click off of it and I'm going to save. There's my home page. I can add more to it, but for the sake of the video and to get you started, I'm going to just move on. So now that's how you can edit a page. Here's where you add a new page. Okay. And according to my lesson plan here, we need to have some pages on. Uh, and we need to have an activities page, a work experience page, references, and education. Okay, so let's make those pages. Activities, work experience, references, and education. So I'm going to come over here, name of your page, activities. Um, it's a web page and select a location. We're going to leave this at the top level, which means um, it's going to be one of the main 
buttons in our menu. Okay, and I'm just going to say create. Okay, and see now we have two pages, home and activities. Okay, I'm going to create another new page. Oh, I guess I have to click save there. And that's how you make a new page. So then you can go through and um, I'm going to let you make the reference the work experience page and the references page and then the education page uh, it says here to include a page for each activity and to do that um, like on this page I might I might um, I, I might say I have been involved in a lot of Okay, that might be my intro for this page. Okay, I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to make a new page. And this page is going to be one of the activities I'm involved in. And I'm going to put this one under the activities page. Create. Okay, and then on this page, um, I might... Uh, list the years that I'm involved in Future Business Leaders of America. Um, I might list what I competed in at state during those years. Um, I would for sure list if I qualified for nationals or received any awards, okay? Um, and you could even put some pictures in here. For instance, um, insert image. I might have pictures of me receiving an award. So, um, I'm not sure what this is, but we'll put this in here for the sake of time. Okay, and this was an activity that we, this was a state leadership conference, and obviously it's too big. I'll make it small, um, and then I, I would put underneath it um, 2013 State Fall Leadership Conference, and then I would even list workshops I attended and what I learned. Remember this is to show people what you've done and what you know and what you can do. So I'm going to click Save. Um, and then you know include a page for each activity. So that's how you make pages and insert pictures. The thing to remember when you're doing an e-portfolio you want to try to eliminate scrolling as much as possible and use bulleted and numbered lists as much as possible also.